Now, you may have heard it said that if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life, right? But new research from Florida State University suggests being passionate about your profession could be both a strength and a weakness. I spoke with FSU researcher Wayne Hawkwater about the benefits and drawbacks of passionate employees, how their eagerness affects burnout, and something he calls ego resilience. Well, passion is a good thing because it's a resource and it's motivating and if you were to ask most employers they would say yes we want passionate employees. According to the National Library of Medicine work passion is a strong inclination or desire toward work related activities that people like. It leads to people who are energetic, enthusiastic about the job. But Florida State University professor Wayne Hawkwater says if not managed well, it can have a flip side. What we're finding is that when not used appropriately, burnout is one of the first consequences. A study of 1,500 workers by job search web giant Indeed found more than half of respondents had experienced burnout. Emotional exhaustion, depersonalization, in essence, just an overall feeling like you're a sponge that's been wrung out and you have nothing left to give. The far too familiar feeling found most commonly in some of the professions we depend on the most. We have uh, a number of teachers who are resigning, quitting. Nursing has become a profession that is getting hard to staff. and. Burnout is a huge culprit in both cases. I reached out to Leon Classroom Teachers Association President Scott Major, who agrees. Burnout in the teacher profession is a real issue right now. Pointing directly to examples of their passion. The teachers are givers. They want to make sure that they serve. So a lot of times they're going above and beyond. And solutions he thinks will keep teachers' passion engaged. Really when it comes down to it, it's probably about three things. It's pay, it's respect, and it's politics. But it's more than just money, power, and respect. Hawkwater says employees have to take ownership of their own mental health in what he calls ego resilience. Ego resilience is, you know, ego means self. Resilience means managing and getting through the tough times. And people who are passionate are going to experience difficult times. And that employers need leaders in place with key focuses. What I would recommend for all leaders is to focus on two really important parts of leading people, and that's trust and communications. Who cultivate workplace cultures where passion leads to success. You don't want to eliminate or extinguish people's passions for work because that's still a very important and needed thing.